Hi, I'm Cassie from This Mom Did It. I'm a mom of two and I love sharing mom tips to make your life easier. People always talk about how difficult it is to travel with little kids and we took a trip last year to prove all of them wrong. We went all the way from the US to Europe for six weeks with our two sons. My oldest at the time was pretty nearly three and my youngest was about eight months. I'm not gonna say this trip was as easy if it was just me and my husband going, but it was so much more rewarding to have them there. And one of the biggest things that helped us was packing super light so that it was easy to move from city to city, place to place. So through flights, ferries, cars, everywhere we went, we didn't have a ton of luggage with us. Not having a ton of luggage is huge when you also have two kids to carry. So you need to remember packing light is key. Through this video, I'm gonna share with you the top 10 ways that we packed light with our two little kids, one being an infant and one being a toddler. During this six week trip, we only brought one suitcase for our family of four. I also had a backpack and so did my husband and our travel strollers and travel crib were separate from the suitcase. So let me get into those first. One of the key things is to bring a travel stroller. Do not bring the stroller that you use every day to go to the park that, you know, is full size, has room to carry all of your stuff. You want just the bare minimum in this stroller. And one of the key things is that it can fold up really tiny and that when the kid is in it, it can lay completely flat so that they can take a nap in it. Our favorite travel stroller is gonna be the Mountain Buggy Nano. And a big piece of this is the price tag. We were able to get it on discount for only $75 and it is incredible. I think it holds up and compares really well to some of those $500 strollers out there. Let me do a quick demonstration for you. The next thing that's key is your travel crib. You could get away with not bringing one at all depending on your accommodations. If you know you're staying at a hotel, typically they're gonna have a crib for you that you can use. If you're staying at a VRBO or an Airbnb, they now have filters where you can find out if they have a crib or travel crib available for you to use. Um, and some do and some don't. We opted to bring our own travel crib with us because we wanted to make sure that our infant had a safe space to sleep at every location we were going to and that there weren't any issues, nothing was damaged, we just didn't wanna worry about it. What's great about this is it's super tiny and super light. Very quick and easy to get it up and get it down. Most airlines will let you check a travel crib for free. So this does not count as a piece of luggage.
sure you've heard this a million times, but I can't say it enough. You need packing cubes. This is so important with kids and with packing an entire family in one suitcase. We actually ordered a set off Amazon that is four different colors. So each family member had their own color cubes. So we didn't have anything get mixed up. We knew what everyone's was. This made it so super simple to get things in and out. They're also kind of the perfect size to put in a drawer on a shelf. So when we got to a location, we could just unzip, set it up, and we could pick out our clothes for the day from there. During this trip, we were going to a lot of different climates. There was some cold weather and some warm weather. And in the warm weather spots, we were able to go swimming. So I actually did one packing cube that was just all of our swimsuits and inner tubes and swim stuff so that we didn't have to worry about um, having that mixed in with the rest of our clothes when we weren't really gonna use it. Love doing that. These packing cubes are so great to keep everything neat and organized when you're traveling and all packed up and when you're at the location and living out of a suitcase, it makes it so easy. One of the things I was most nervous about when traveling with an infant is that he was still drinking bottles and on formula and I wasn't sure how we were gonna transport everything we needed for that. What we ended up doing is we only brought a few bottles with us and we brought this um, travel bottle brush set. So it has everything you need in here. The lid turns into a drying rack. It has a soap dispenser that you can fill up. It has your bottle brush that you can just connect here, turn into a nice brush. It's got brushes of all different sizes in here. It's so perfect and compact for on the go. The other thing that was great is most of the Airbnbs and VRBOs that we stayed in had dishwashers. So we didn't end up using this at a lot of the places. We just ran the bottles in the dishwasher every night so they were ready to go in the morning. So that's a great tip. If you know the location you're going to as a dishwasher, just make sure to have some of those dishwasher pods so you can run multiple loads in there and just wash your bottles in the dishwasher every night. In addition to bottles, my infant had just started drinking out of sippy cups, so we would give him water every day in a sippy cup. My oldest, three, would also drink out of a sippy cup, sometimes open cups, but you know, you don't always wanna risk that mess that comes with it. So for sippy cups, instead of bringing a big bulky bottle with us, we brought these Boone sippy cup lids these lids are silicone, they're really flexible, they pack up nice and tight, so they just fit tiny in my hand here. Um, they come in a pack of three, so you get lots with them. You can run them in the dishwasher to clean them. These fit over any cup. So the set actually comes with a cup, and I'll show you how they work with this one, but I've put these over almost any cup you can think of. Pull that down over the cup and you've got the perfect sippy cup lid. Another thing you have to bring for the baby, diapers and wipes. Luckily, my three-year-old was potty trained before this trip, so we did not have to bring anything for him. But my youngest, eight months, obviously he's still in diapers. Some people may disagree with me on this one, but what we did was we only brought enough diapers and wipes for the first few days of our trip, and we bought diapers and wipes everywhere we went. Even when traveling internationally, they have very similar diapers. Diapers and wipes are very accessible, um, particularly in Europe where we were. Even some islands where you might worry about availability, usually hotels will have stores with the diaper and wipes in them. So that is the route we went. We never had any issues finding the sizing or the brand that we needed. Um, and it really cut down on packing for us, being able to only bring enough diapers and wipes for a few days. You're probably wondering, what is this weird gray ball here? So, um, I haven't really talked much about being on the airplane, but a big thing, especially if you're taking a long flight or red eye, is finding a way to get your kids comfortable. So, we brought for my toddler an inflatable footrest. And this thing, it's not even that as small as it gets right now. It folds up very, very tiny and you can blow it up on the plane so that your toddler has somewhere to lay down or even to play with their toys. This worked wonders for us. Our toddler, our three-year-old, slept for seven hours on our red-eye flight. It was incredible. I can't recommend it enough. There are a lot of competitors in the market. This was like 20 bucks on Amazon. Um, there are a lot of competitors that are $100 plus to achieve the same result, 
and they're much, much bulkier to take with you. So this is by far my recommendation if you want to make sure that your toddler has a good spot to sleep. The other alternative is you can put them in your their car seat. If they're really good at sleeping in your their car seat, that's a great way to try to get them to sleep on a flight. So I'm going to blow it up real quick and show you what it looks like. So this is the final product here once it's blown up. It's really easy to blow up on the airplane and it wedges perfectly in between your seat, right where your feet go, and the seat in front of you. And we were riding economy, so small spaces. This wasn't like economy plus or business class or anything. Regular seat and this wedges right in between. And he ended up, we put a blanket over it and he put his head here and fell asleep. Um, you can also put your feet here or they can make this a play space in front of them sitting on the seat. Speaking of toddler sleep, I do not recommend bringing the toddler bed if you're really trying to pack light. I have a whole video going into detail about our inflatable toddler bed that we always bring on our road trips. But if we're flying or we're really needing to pack light, this one gets left at home. Typically, we will get an extra bed in wherever we're staying for our oldest toddler and we'll roll up a few towels or pillows and put them under the fitted sheet to use as a bed bumper. This will keep them in the bed nice and safe and there's no need to bring a big bulky inflatable bed with you. It also helps if you don't have a lot of extra towels or pillows to be able to create that bumper to push one side of the bed up against the wall and then you only need one bumper on the bed. The last couple things I want to talk to you guys about today are toys and books for the kids. This one is really hard. You want to pack a ton of stuff to make sure they're entertained, but really you don't need that much. You just need to pack smart. I will have a whole video on here about all of the toys that you want to bring for entertainment on the airplane or car rides or ferry rides or what have you, but a couple things I do want to show. A lot of kids have a lovey or stuffy or something they sleep with. My son my oldest has this giant whale that he sleeps with and he's obsessed with it and he goes to bed with it every night and he's such a great sleeper. So I was very scared of not packing this giant whale, but we really didn't have the room for it. So a few weeks before our trip, I went out and I got him this tiny whale. I actually think I found this on Amazon for a few bucks. We introduced this and he started sleeping with his mama whale and his baby whale every night and we told him that his baby whale was going to come with us on the trip and mama whale was going to stay at home and watch over our house so we went through that process of getting him used to it and he had a new tiny little stuffy that he was happy to sleep with and this little whale kept him comfortable every night and he slept great on our trip so if you have a giant stuffy or pillow or something that your little one sleeps with think about introducing a miniature size for your trip. And lastly, this was huge for my kids, books. They love books. We read, you know, two, three books every night before bed. It's a big part of their bedtime routine and it's a big thing that keeps them entertained when we're driving places or flying places or what have you. And they're just so bulky and heavy. It does not make sense to travel with a bunch of books. Now we do have some books downloaded on their tablets, but it's not quite the same as having a real book and you don't really want to put them to bed by reading their tablet with the light on and everything. So I went out and I bought a handful of these super thin paper books here. These are indestructible. You can pour water on them, you can try to tear them. I mean, you can really do everything you can to try to destroy them. They're actually indestructible. Trust me, both of my kids have tried. They're two different brands and I'll have both of these linked in my Amazon shop. Fantastic books, great stories, pictures, colors. They loved them and I could bring four or five of them and they take up almost no space. I just slid these into my backpack. Great to have on your trips. Those are all of the packing light tips I have for you guys today. I really hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to see more videos like this. Thanks.